guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a holiday look for you guys that you could wear um, to Christmas parties, on Christmas, around Christmas, even New Year's, but I am planning on filming more New Year's themed videos. Um, so I did film a glamorous holiday tutorial which featured a very bold red lip. So I decided to go ahead and film um, for any of you who prefer to go more neutral on the lips. This is a lot more of a bold eye. It's a little bit smoky but still has some glitter um, and a cranberry color in there to make it festive. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. So to begin, I'm going to come in with this Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I'm just going to put a little bit of that all over the eyelid and a little bit up under the brow bone. This is going to make sure that our shadows last all day long and stay creaseless and also up the intensity of the color. For this look, I wanted to focus more um, on the eyes than on the lips since my last tutorial was more of a bold lip, so I'm going to go for more of a bold eye today. Um, so I'm going to wear the, um, oh, I didn't want to blind you, sorry, <laughs> the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Blushes that look like this. I'm going to be wearing this one here, which is in the color um, Mood Exposure. Put a little bit of that on. We don't want this to, be the, to detract from the eyes. We're just going to put a little bit to kind of get a little bit of color to our face. So now come the eyes. So... Basically, I haven't had, I bought the um, Lorac Mega Pro and I played around with it a little bit and I knew right away that I absolutely loved it, but with how busy I was in school, I honestly didn't have time to play around with it at all and I really wanted to. So, unfortunately, this is another video featuring the Lorac Mega Pro, but don't worry because if you can't get your hands on it, you definitely, um, if you have a few different eyeshadow palettes or even individuals, I'm sure you have colors similar to this in your collection. They're not um, unseen, really special colors. I just wanted to play around with the palette um, and, you know, just get more familiar with it and have some fun. It has some really nice colors for the look that I want to do. Um, so you can definitely use whatever you have that are similar in tone. It will give you pretty much the exact same look. So the aim for this look um, is to pretty much have a um, shimmery eye with like a warm um, kind of berry wine color in the crease. I think that that's really pretty and there's a really pretty shade that I want to use. So that's pretty much what we're going for um, with a very neutral lip. So to begin, I'm going to go with the color Stone, uh, no, not this one, wait, where are you? I'm going to go with this color right here, Stone, all over the lid. I'm going to start it in the outer corner and pull it in so that the most of the shadow is on the outer part and not on the inner part. I'm going to pull it into about there. I don't want the inner corner to be too dark, so I'm going to leave it as is for now. Now in the crease, I'm going to come in with this color here, Dusty Plum. Um, it's coming off on camera a lot more like pinky toned than it is here. Here it's a little bit more of a plum shade. And I'm just going to work that into the crease. The trick here is again, blend, blend, blend. So we're just going to work this up a little bit more than it already is. So I'm not, I didn't add anything to my brush. I'm just taking what's already there, bringing it up a little bit higher. So I'm just going to go with a tiny little bit of indigo right over here. Beautiful color with a tiny bit of sparkles, but I'm just barely dabbing my brush into it. And we're going to really focus this on the crease and I'm not going to blend, it's, I'm going to blend it, but not harshly. It's going to be a um, pretty dramatic crease, so I'm going to put that right here. Taking it about to line up with the, not quite, like where the arch of my eyebrow begins. So just like that for now, we're not going to touch it. So now ever so slightly with what's left on the brush, I'm just going to take that down a tiny bit into the outer V. So just kind of dragging the color that's there down a little bit. Just like that. 
Now I'm going to come in with the Sonia Kashuk blending brush with a tiny, tiny little bit of this caviar color right over here. Slightest bit again. And I'm just going to lightly press that on the outer corner to darken it up. on my big crease brush to blend this out just a tiny little bit on top. I'm going to come in with the color Mulberry, which is actually the reason why I chose this palette for this color right here. It's so pretty for this time of year. It's kind of a cranberry color. And then this is where you have to be very careful because we're already very high on, onto our eyelid and you don't want to go to the eyebrow. You're going to keep the color where it is, just add a little bit on both sides especially to the outer part. Now you pretty much have barely anything left on your brush. Um, you're going to just blend t very, very softly. Don't put any pressure. Just move your brush around very gently on the outer part. We're not really working this in at all. We're just working on the outer portion because you still want it to look quite blended. But we don't want to lose that, if, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice here, but you don't want to lose that very like dramatic um, crease that we've done. On camera, this color is actually bringing out a lot of the redness in my eyes, but in like this mirror, it actually looks really good, so trust me on this. Then I'm going to do the same with this eye. So now I'm coming in with the color um, sand, which is this color right over here. And I'm just going to brush that from the inner corner to about where my eyebrow begins. And then you're just going to take that in the inner corner as well. Now what's really going to make the look pop is just to take a tiniest bit of the Magnificent Metals eyeshadow by Stila in the color Kitten. These are like amazing like foiled metallic eyeshadows. So I'm just going to take the tiniest bit with my finger, just a tiny dab of my, of my finger. And I'm going to press that directly onto the center of the lid. So now you pretty much just have on the center of the lid a very, very light, um, you kind of went a little heavy handed on this. The light picks up like that it's not even, but it is even in person. So now I'm going to tight line my eyes with the NARS Larger Than Life a Waterproof um, Long Wear Eyeliner. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do some winged eyeliner, which I've attempted before. It doesn't come out great on camera. You can look back on past tutorials to see how I do it. Um, and I can dedicate a whole video to it if you want, but it's hard to do on camera. So I'm going to just do it off camera. And I'm going to go ahead and put on the false lashes, and I'll be right back. So I actually tight lined my, my um, eyes and I realized that I completely forgot to finish under my eyes with the eyeshadow. Don't know what I was thinking. So to finish it off, a little bit of this um, stone that we first used with a um, an angled um, liner brush. That's not going to focus, but that's all it is. It's from Eco Tools, and I'm just going to put it in this portion of my eye here. We're going for a pretty smoked out look, so be generous with it. Then on the outer portion, we're going to come in with this dark color right over here. It's kind of um, a dark, it's, it's pretty much, it's a dark black. And we're just focusing that on the outer corner here. Then with a small pencil brush, I'm going to come in with the color opal right over here on the inner corner of the bottom lash line. where I have my eye infection, so we're going to try and hide that. Then I'm just going to refresh that brow bone highlight a bit with the color Opal, 
and I'm going to place it under the brow just like that. I'm back with my lashes and I put some eyeliner on as well to hide the bend but also because I wanted a pretty dramatic eye look in case you haven't noticed already. Um, and so now I'm just going to go ahead. I don't have any mascara on my lashes. I don't know if the camera's picking it up but in person you can see my lashes because they're a lot lighter than the false lashes in front of the false lashes. So to cover that up, I know this is a big controversy. A lot of people put on mascara before. I prefer to put on mascara after and since my lashes are pretty inexpensive it doesn't really make much of a difference, so that's fine. The eyelashes that I use are the Kiss 11, which are very, like, wispy, pretty lashes. <laughs> so it just makes them a little bit bolder and a little bit more blended in with my lashes. And then I'm going to put a lot of mascara on the bottom to kind of make up for the big lashes on the top. So that's officially it for the eye makeup. This is what it looks like. So pretty dramatic, um, but with, I really like the um, sheen that the um, metallic shadow gave. I really like that, and then I like that it's also a little bit smoky, and then it has a little bit of that warm holiday kind of color to it. So I really, really like this look, and now I'm gonna add on the lips, which are gonna be very neutral to balance out this eye. So for the lips, I'm going to come in with this, um, I got it in the Sephora Give Me Lip Kit, Give Me More Lip or something like that. It's the Too Faced in Naked Dolly. It's this mini little lipstick here. I'm going to just go ahead and apply that. Very neutral color. I like it more than I thought I would, um, but to take out a little bit of the peachiness and add just a hint of pink, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Color Elixir in I'm Blushing, which is 40. I don't know if this is going to focus, but it looks like this. Just put a very light layer of that on. I like the way it turned out for, for any of you who um, maybe are afraid of going because I did do a um, glamorous holiday look with bold red lips but if any of you are a little bit more afraid to experiment with the red lips this is a great way of experimenting with a bolder eye um, but it's still very festive with the gold, sh the gold sparkle, glitter, whatever you want to call it and the um, cranberry crease so Really, really, I really like the look that I created. I hope you guys do too. I'm going to do a few close-ups here on the eyes so you can see. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, creating this look with me. It was a lot of fun to film. I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. I hope um, some of you guys decide to try it out around the holidays. And if you do, um, I do have... Twitter, Instagram, and I'm most active on Instagram, I would say, and I've recently joined Pinterest, which is really awesome, and I'm actually just getting into it. So if any of you guys want to take pictures and send them to me, um, go right ahead. I would love to see you guys recreate this look. Um, happy holidays, no matter whether you, whatever you celebrate, if you don't celebrate, it's just a jolly time of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up um, if you enjoyed this holiday themed video and let me know what you guys want to see for future videos down below. I do have a few more holiday themed videos to film for you guys, um, but I am open to suggestions if you guys want to let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!